In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set site overhead expenses to your project. And I will also show you how to capture liquidated damages if they're applicable to your project. So I've created this project in previous uh, videos. And what I want to capture now is uh, setting site resources. So to do that, I'm going to create a separate task called site overhead. And this site overhead um, is, is going to be less or more depending on the total duration of the project. So to capture this, this uh, variable uh, duration, I'm going to change the type of this task over to the hammock task. And as you can see, it stretches now from the beginning to the end. And to make sure it, this goes well during the uh, uh, simulations, I'm going to actually create a start to start relationship between the milestone start and the hammock task and the finish to finish between the finish milestone and the hammock. So right now we have zero cost assigned to it because there's no resources. So in this case, I'm going to already create a couple of resources that are going to be there for the duration of this project. Uh, the site superintendent. And I'm also going to have the project manager and I'm going to assign him for 20, uh, 0 0.2 um, units per day. And I'm going to assign the engineer. And as you can see now, based on our original plan, our site overhead is 189,720. Now, if I run the simulation and I step through it, then this time we're we're shorter. The project actually is shorter than we anticipated. So I'm just going to step through and you see the overhead is changing. Every iteration, we go shorter, we go longer. The amount of overhead that we have on our project depends on the duration of the project. Next, I'm going to apply liquidated damages. Our project is scheduled to be done right now on the 27th of July. We have a liquidated damages, however, if we go beyond August 1st. So how can I model that? First, I'm going to create a milestone called damages. I'm going to tell Primavera that this is a start milestone. And I'm going to set a constraint on it so it doesn't move. I must start on and I'm going to set it to August 1st. So if our project goes up to here, there's no LDs, but as soon as it goes past this date here, I want to capture liquidated damages. To do that, I'm going to create another task called LDs. And LDs is also going to be a hammock task. So I'm going to change the type to hammock. Now my LDs are triggered um, by this date and the end of the hammock task is whenever this project during simulation is going to finish. So I'm going to draw a start to start relationship between my milestone and my hammock and a finish to finish between the uh, original finish date of my project and the hammock. To apply cost, I've created a resource called uh, damages, and I need to apply that to this uh, hammock task. So I go to resources, and here I'm going to pick LDs. So I have one unit. If I go over one unit per day, um, let me see. One unit per day, yes. And right now it's set at... 
zero. Now, when I created this, the LD is just going to be $2,000 per day on a seven day calendar because in the weekends, the LDs just continue to go. So it should be good. Now, if we run the simulation again, we can actually see the liquidated damages start to appear. I'm going to step through it. Here we are beyond our milestone date. You can see it here in the hammock, six days late. Six times 2,000 is $12,000 worth of liquidated damages. And as you can see, it's capturing the liquidated damages as we go through these iterations. I'm just going to complete this. And actually, when we look at just the LDs, we can see how much LDs should we take into our budget. And that depends on our confidence level. So based on a confidence level of 80%, uh, according to our simulation, we should take an additional $6,000 on top of our budget.